In this presentation, we will use information from our payroll register for the month of October to enter the journal entry for October into the general journal, post it to the general ledger, and record the trial balance with it. To make sure that we pick up the right information, we're going to highlight this information uh, green again. So we're going to go down here. We're going to highlight from the 19 all the way over. I should say select it uh, to the X22. And then right click. And then I'm going to make it green. I'm going to select this little pink. And let's make it uh, a lighter green again. Let's go to this green here. It's getting lighter each time for some reason. Okay, then we're going to go back up top. And let's freeze the panes. So I'm going to put my cursor right on A4 if it's not frozen already. I don't know why we keep un I keep unfreezing the pane, but we're going to go up top. We're going to go to the view tab. We're going to go to the windows, freeze panes, and freeze the pane. Okay, then we're going to scroll back down, and this is the data we will be working with. We're going to enter that data into our um, journal entry tab. So we're going to go to the second tab over here. We're going to have to do some uh, back and forth work between the two tabs. We're going to clean this tab up a little bit. We're going to either unhide or hide uh, what we need. So if anything is hidden in your tab, what you want to do is select whatever cell you can up top and just select the whole thing. Just unhide everything all the way over as far as you need to go. Right click and then unhide anything that's hidden. Then what we're going to do is just hide the cells that we need. So these two are for the first payroll periods. We don't need those now. I don't need those to bother us right now. So we're going to put our cursor on the A and select all the way to the L. A to L. Let go and right click and hide. Then we don't need any of this data. We only need this data to enter this pay period. So I'm going to put my cursor on the R drop down and select all the way to AC and then left click and hide okay so this is going to be our information we're going to enter the data here and we're going to post that to the general ledger on this side which will uh, generate the trial balance okay there's going to be three journal entries which will be one for the employees payroll two for the employer payroll taxes and then we'll make the payment which will be the last one uh, and that'll be on the 15th so we're going to process the payroll pay uh, process it as of november 1st for the payroll period ending in october and then we'll make the payment in uh november 15th for the withholdings and the payroll taxes all right so note that these are these should look very similar now and we could copy and paste the journal entries from the prior time period and just change the numbers but we really want it so just note the repetition there so could you look at the prior pay period for help? Yes, of course we could. This is accounting that's very similar from pay period to pay period. But uh, we want to regenerate these because these are things we want to think through. So first we're going to deal with the uh, payroll journal entry. Now cash is affected, but this is one time I'm going to do that last because we're really working down to the net check, remember. So that's going to be our goal. We're going to start with the payroll expense, which will be a debit here to 502 salaries and wages so we're going to copy that right click and copy we're going to go a bit faster here since we've done this a couple times it'll be much the same as the prior transactions so in n5 we're going to right click and paste one two three and then the amount is going to be from the register so we'll go back to the register and we're looking for the total pay so here's the regular pay Here's the total earnings. So we want to pull over the total earnings. So we'll go, I'm going to do that with a formula. So we'll go back to the GL and I'm going to put in cell P5 equals and then go over to the register and we're going to pick up that 4877.50 and enter. Then we're going to pull over all of the, um, the liability accounts that we withheld. So I'm going to go back to the register just to see what we're doing. We're mirroring this calculation. So we've got total earnings minus all these deductions. So we're mirroring these deductions. So we want OASDI, HI, FIT, Group Insurance, Union, and 401k. Those are all, will all be represented by liabilities on our um, accounts. So we've got not this one, not the payroll. We got 
FICA for OASDI, HI, then I'm going to let go, not FUTA and SUTA. Those will be involved in the employer taxes. I'm holding down control. We want this 124. Oh, no, we don't want it. I'm going to unhighlight that. We want, I'm holding down control, the 225 for FIT, the 243 group insurance, and the 245 for the union dues. I'm letting go of control, right click, and copy. So we'll put that over here in N6 and N6 and right click and paste and we want to paste one, two, three. And then we just need to pull over our amounts. So we'll put our cursor in Q6 and we're going to change the sign to a negative. So instead of hitting equal, we're going to say negative and then go back to the uh, register and we want to pick up this OASDI, enter. Then we're on HI. We want to say negative. We're going to go back to the register for HI, this number, and enter. And then the FIT, we're going to say negative. Go back to the register for FIT, this number, and enter. And then the group insurance, we're going to say negative. Go back to the register, group insurance, and enter. And then union dues, I'm going to put negative. Go back to the register for union and enter. And it looks like we're missing one. Well, we're missing the retirement. So I'm going to copy this one. Highlight that. Copy. Right click and copy. We'll paste that right here in uh, N11. Right click and paste 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to go back to Q11 negative. Go back to the register and pick up the 401k and enter. So now we have, of course, these are, are the credits adding up 20,372, 27 does not equal the debit. If we select all of them, it adds up to what we need, 2770523, the difference, which will be a credit. Now that should match, if we go back to the register, the net pay. So that'll equal the net pay. So let's do that. We're going to see, I'm going to do that with a plug formula, which is negative SUM. Double click the sum function, highlight from uh, the salaries and wages down to the all the uh, the debits minus the credits, all the debits and credits, and enter 2770523. Back to the earnings record just to double check 2770523. So back to the, <laughs> the trial balance. Okay, and then so that's going to go to that's going to be the net check that we're going to pay. So I'm going to take that out of the checking account. So we'll highlight the checking account, right click and copy. We're going to put that in N12, right click and paste one, two, three. So there's our journal entry. Now we're going to post this to the GL. I'll try to do this a bit faster. So these are all going to be in the same area. So it's going to be easier to find. This one's going to be all the way to the end because it's so uh, it's uh, 502. So it's going to be our second uh, income statement account. So we're looking for 502 first, it's in order, assets and then liabilities and then equity and then income and then expenses. So we're looking for 502. Here is our salaries and wages in BM20. 11-1 is the date. And in BN20, I'm going to say equals. I'm just going to hold down the left arrow, which will take us all the way over and scroll up to that. 4877 and enter so there's our amount our our uh, wages our expenses went up from 96 973 50 by 48 77 50 to 145 uh, 51 and of course our it's exactly the same because we're mimicking the data from payroll to payroll at this point so we're going to scroll back over and uh, that's going to be our first one now for the rest of them i'm going to freeze the panes so that this side will remain here every time we scroll over. To do that, I'm going to go to cell AD1. I'm going to go to freeze panes and freeze panes. So then I'm going to scroll over. I'm going to find 215 and we'll just find all of all of these liabilities. So that's going to be down here and they should all be pretty close to each other. So I'm not going to go back and forth. In other words, this time we're just going to go scroll this way. We're looking for 215. There's 215 here in AS12. We're going to say 11, 1, the date. 
and then an AT12 equals point to that 2,980,81 and there it is. Then we're looking for 220, so that's going to be the next one. So 220 is here in AW12 as of 11, 1, and then in AX12 equals that uh, 697, 12, and enter. Then for looking for the 225, so we're at 220, 225 should be around here somewhere. So we have to skip a couple. It's going to be 225. Here's cell 225 in BE10. We're going to say 11, 1 in BF10 equals, and we're going to point to the 225, which is that 840413, and enter. Then we're looking for 243. So 243 looks like it's underneath here. 243. I'm on BE23. 11 1 tab bf 23 equals scrolling up a bit to that 243 that 5500 so there we have that then we're looking for uh 245 245 is here so we'll scroll to the right 245 11 1 and we're going to say this equals Here's the 245, we're picking up that 16, bringing the balance up from 32 by 16 to 48. And then we have the 247. So scrolling down, here's the 247 as of 11, 1. So in cell BJ23 equals the uh, 277420 and enter. And then the checking account, here's the checking account. That's going to be our first account. So if I put my cursor right to the left of the highlighted cells and go right, we're going to the checking account, which is here on AK 10, 11, 1. Oops, forgot the 1. 11, 1. We're going to say this equals that 2770523 and enter, bringing the balance down to 482902. We can see that then on the trial balance here. So if we go back to the trial balance, here's our information on the trial balance. If we scroll back down, we can see now that these totals have pulled over. Now we owe 2980,81, uh, 697,8404, FIT and the group insurance down to the retirement. We also note that uh, the salaries expense has gone up here, so we owe more for uh, the salaries that brings net income down and our debits minus our credits are zero meaning debits do equal the credits at this time next journal entry we're going to say that uh, we're going to pick up the the employer taxes so if we go back to the payroll register we want to pick up this information now the employer taxes oasdi hi futa suta these two are matching so we saw that as a deduction in the employee section these two are employer taxes only federal unemployment state unemployment so we'll pick up these numbers back to our our journal so we're going to say that in essence we need to pick up the 215 the fica then the medicare the futa and suta so these are the ones we want we're going to highlight those or select those right click and copy those We'll put that underneath the date here because they're going to be credits. So it's an N15. Right click and paste 123. And then the debit's going to go on top and the debit's going to be the uh, payroll taxes. So 520 here. Right click and copy. We're going to put that up top in N14. Right click and paste 123. Let me make this a little smaller. Okay, so now we just need to pull this information. I'm going to pull this information for all the credits, and then the debits will be the sum of them. So we're over here in uh, Q15. Instead of selecting equals, we're going to put negative in order to flip the sign, and then we'll go back to the register here, and we're looking for the OASDI. So that's the one on uh, U23. Enter. Next one, we're in uh, the FICA HI and that's uh, the Medicare equals or negative, not equals negative. And then scroll back to our register 
we're picking up the HI the 69712. Enter. Now the Futa and Suta are zero, so I'm just gonna put zero here. And I'm not even gonna post these. I just want to show the, the the symmetry in the journal entry to show them here, and uh, and note that they're gonna be zero. So note the difference in our in our journal entry there. Okay, so then we're gonna add these up, and they add up to 3,677.93. We're going to put the debit there. We're going to do that with our plug formula, which is negative SUM. Double click the sum function. I'm going to move this out of the way. And we're going to highlight that information. So there's our debit. So there it is. So now we'll post this out. So we're looking for 520 first. That's going to be on our income statement. Here's 520, the third income statement account. So if we go to the general ledger over here, we've got the assets, we've got the liabilities. Then we've got the income statement accounts. We're looking for 520. Uh, 520, here we go. So it's on uh, BQ8111 and then BR8 equals, we'll scroll down just a bit and we wanna pick up that uh, 3,677.93, bringing the balance up to 12,677.53. If we jo go just, well, let's just, if we go to the left of the uh, frozen screens and then click right, then that balance should be here as well. And then we'll post both of these uh, at the same time or uh, without going back to the trial balance. So the 215, if we go to the right, 215 of course is going to be right here. So if we go to the right, we're looking for 215. I think it's going to be up top. Here it is, 215. And now we're on 11.1 again. So two 11.1s, we got the same amount. It's gonna be here again. We're gonna say this equals, and make sure we're picking up the right journal entry. We don't want this number up here, even though it'll be the same. We want this number there. So we're picking up that uh, 2890 and enter. It's actually 2980. And then we're gonna do the HI, which is 220. So 220. It's going to be right next to it. So here it is on uh, AW13. We're going to say 11, 1. And then in AX13, we will say equals and point to that 697, 12 and enter. So there we have that, bringing the balance up here. Now I won't post these two because once again, it doesn't look like, uh, obviously there's nothing there on those two. So we're good there. And so if we go back to our balance, going to the left of the, of the, uh, frozen screens and then going down we see that uh, we should be back in balance here the effect on net income being the payroll expense portion at this point in time we've got these liabilities now that we're going to have to just pay at some point we took these out of the payroll check and or that's our payroll liability which we now will have to pay at some point we're going to say that we're going to pay it on the 15th so remember the payroll ended in october and then we paid, we processed payroll November 1st, and now we're going to pay it on 11-15. So we're basically going to make this payment for uh, these amounts here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these amounts that we owe, we're gonna make the payment for them. So that includes the, uh, the uh, not the payroll tax, the <laughs> 215, the HI. There's nothing in Futen Suta because those have been totally, uh, the cap has been reached so therefore we don't owe any money for it. I'm holding down control, I'm letting go here, I'm holding down control, and then highlighting the FIT, and that's all we need, the FIT should do it. So we're gonna copy that, I'm letting go of control, right click and copy, and that's gonna go in N20, right click and paste, uh, one, two, three, values only. So that's gonna be what we have. Now I'm just gonna pick the exact same numbers up here, over here in our journal entry. So we'll put our cursor here in uh, Q20 and we're picking up this number. So I'm just gonna type it in there, negative uh, 5961.61. Then we're picking up this number for HI. So here's HI, we're picking up this number, negative, actually, I'm sorry. These should be debits. These should be debits. So I'm going to be on the debit side because we want to make this go down to zero. So we're on the debit side. And this is going to be 5961.61 for the FICA uh, Social Security. Uh, the Medicare is going to be 1394.25. And the FIT here will be 8404.14. 
So that's what we have there. And then we'll uh, sum that up and that's gonna be the cash that's gonna come out of cash here. So we'll be in Q23, negative SUM, our, our plug formula, the sum formula. Double click the sum, highlight these cells and enter. So that's gonna be this total that's coming out of cash. So here's cash, gonna right click on that, copy, scroll down and that's gonna be in N23. Right click and paste one, two, three. Okay, so now we're just gonna post this. So here's uh, 215, here's 215 on the trial balance. It's gonna be the third account that is a liability. So here's uh, assets and then liabilities. And here is 215. So we are on 1115 is the date. And we're in AT14 equals. We're gonna to point to that 596161 and that's gonna bring the balance back down to zero. So note the pattern here, employee portion, employer portion, paid both. Employee portion, employer portion, paid both. Employee, employer, paid both. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same for uh, the HI, which is 200, 220, account 220. So here is account 220. We're gonna say this is 1115, uh, and then we're in AX7, AX14, equals and we'll point to this uh 1394 and that'll bring the balance back down to zero again these are the fica taxes same pattern employee portion employer portion paid both of them employee portion employer portion paid both of them employee portion employer portion paid both of them now we don't have anything in the hi or uh i'm sorry the futa or the suta so we can just go to uh, our trial balance over here. I'm just clicked to the right a few times to get to the trial balance. And we're out of balance by that 7,355 because we need to record the 225 for the uh, FIT. So let's scroll back over 225 FIT. FIT 225, so it's 223. 225. So this is on 1115, 225. We're in BF11 equals. Then I'm going to scroll back down. Remember uh, to be careful on which, which number we're picking up here. We're on the correct journal entry down here. Hopefully I've picked up the correct journal entry every time. And then we've paid that off. So it goes back down to zero. And this one, of course, only has an employee portion. No employer portion paid off. Employee portion, we paid it off. Employee paid it off. Okay, and then we're going to go to the cash account. And that, of course, is our first account here. So we're going to go to cash. Here's cash. It's going to be on 1115. AL11. In AL11, we're going to say equals. Scroll down just a bit. Pick up that 15760 and enter. So that brings the balance from uh, 482,902 down by 15760 to 467,142,05. Oh, we should see that then on the trial balance here as well. And if we scroll down, we can see that uh, we're back in balance, green zeros, net income, not affected by this last journal entry, no income statement accounts. It's just like paying off uh, accounts payable, we're paying off on account, and it brought down all the payable accounts. So this one went down to zero, zero, zero. We don't owe anything there anymore. We're not paying off the group, and we're not gonna deal with the group insurance union payable. Those are just gonna go up as in the liability uh, perspective and then um, uh, we're not focusing there when we're doing the payment methods because those could differ depending on the group insurance uh, that we have and how we're uh, paying out that when and how we pay off the group insurance and uh, the union uh, the union dues we'd obviously pay the union the retirement plan we'd have to set up what you know the retirement plan and make sure that we have the contributions made for future obligations there. End simulation! End the simulation!